I'm the one man army a sword. I never been tookin' out. I keep MCs looking out. I drop signs like cross be dropping babies. Enough to make a nigga go crazy. In the G building, taking all types of medicines. Your ass thought you were better than a son. I keep playing it to no Okay guys, so I just got done listening or re-listening to uh the final track from ODB's Return to the 36 Chambers album titled Cutting Heads. I re-listened to it off camera because I already reacted to it. But uh yeah, now it's time for a review and I can honestly say this was a unique, interesting, entertaining, lyrical album if I've ever heard one. Like it was all four in one. Uh it was definitely special listening to like ODB uh not for the first time, but like as album wise for the first time, like listening to his uh, album for the first time and kind of getting a more overall rounder feel for ODB and like how he raps and whatnot. He has a very uh, unique style of hip hop, like the way he uh, raps and whatnot. It's, it's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like slurred and then it's like he does like these high pitched voices in between here and there. And then, like, he's talking, uh, like, two minutes later. I don't know. It's a very interesting style of rap that he has. He's unique. Um, and I really enjoyed this album. Uh, like, I, I knew it was, like, a huge, huge album. Because I had always seen, like, this picture, this album cover. I've seen this album cover uh, a few times before. And, like, I've heard people say it was pretty a uh, good album. And I really enjoyed it. It was a couple tracks that were... And and another thing, the audio on certain tracks, I don't know, maybe it was my copy or I don't know if any other people had the same problem, but like sometimes the audio would start off low and then it would like go super high. And um, I don't know, the audio overall in general for most of the tracks, well, not most of them, but some of them, like I have the audio on the same, exact same volume and like some tracks would be lower than others and then some would be higher. And then lower again. I don't know. It was, it was a bit weird. But um, other than that, uh, um, any tracks? I don't know. Some tracks were. Eh, but a lot of them were pretty creative. Uh, I really enjoyed this album. And uh, yeah, I definitely can't wait to re-listen to this. I can't wait to bump this album. Uh, man, this was just uh, more of a... It was more of a, a, I don't know, I think I really liked it so much because I haven't heard anything like it, really. And uh, his, like, his rhyme schemes and whatnot seem pretty, like, insane. Like, I haven't, like, looked at his, the lyric videos or the lyrics for any of these tracks yet, but, like, just the way he was rhyming and stuff, it, like, made it seem like he knew what he was really rhyming about, and it seemed like... Like I said, yeah, it seemed like insane, like the way he would rhyme and whatnot. So I definitely can't wait to, uh, I definitely can't wait to uh, check out the lyrics for these and uh, see what uh, he was like, get a more in depth picture of what he was saying. But um, like, it's, man, it's just I don't know. I really like. I, I'm starting to really come around on ODB because like I'd heard him before listening to um, Enter the Woo 36 Chambers album. Like, I've heard him on there, um, and I thought he was, I don't know, I thought he was alright, but it, I, I, I didn't really understand him. I still kind of don't understand him, like, but uh, I definitely will check out um, that Wu-Tang American Saga series. I forgot the name of it. It's something like that, Wu-Tang American Series Saga, something like that. Uh, I might check it out on my own. I don't know if people want to see me watch that on the channel or not, but... Uh, if not, I'll definitely check it out on my own so I can kind of get a better in-depth feel for ODB because I don't really know who he was as a person. I just know like his persona on the uh, on the records. So, and his persona on the records is pretty over the top, insane. Just I don't know. It's hard to describe, but he's definitely a cool dude and definitely unique. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed the album. I think track for track, it was definitely definitely an amazing album. There were a couple tracks that were. And like the Brooklyn Zoo 2, I wasn't really too huge on that one. Or, um, uh, I don't know, I have to re-listen to it. But I, the one that, that immediately came to mind was the Brooklyn Zoo 2 one. But uh, other than that, I think it was an amazing album. I loved it uh, way more than I did Method Man's Tikal album. Uh, and that wasn't a bad album. I don't know, it's just, I don't know, I kind of, I, I like this one more. It, it uh... 
I don't know. I just like this one more than Meth Man's. But um, yeah, it was definitely a cool album, and I definitely enjoyed it. And if you guys enjoyed the reaction, make sure you smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. And if you guys want to request any albums, other albums, or any movies or songs from React to, make sure you check the links in the description of Streamlabs, and you request them there. But with that being said, much love, stay safe, and peace out.